Hello, I am Nina Grover, a professor of chemistry and biochemistry at Colorado College. I am here today to take you from semester to block plant teaching. I've been teaching at Colorado College for 20 years and have taught in chemistry and biochemistry department and in feminist and gender studies where I teach gender and science and uh, ecofeminism. And I've done orientation for new faculty for coming onto the block plan. But your group is different because you all are experienced teachers and now trying to think about how a semester gets converted to a block. What are the challenges? What do you have to think about ahead of time? What I'm going to help you do is work through a syllabus so you can see what a day feels like, how many activities do you need, and what a week feels like. What do you have to plan ahead of time? And how to take three to five hours per week and convert it to three to four hours per day and make it be a reasonable amount of work. The, there are benefits and there are challenges to doing this. And I'm hoping that I'll help you see the ebb and flow of the block, tell you where the challenging points are and what works really well. So immersive teaching, the intensive method of teaching on the block plan is what you all are familiar with, whether you know it or not, that's what graduate school was. And we are all here because we do well in that format. The key would be to convince your students that they are having fun, they're learning, they are able to do the work. And I'll walk you through the things I think about and we will use your experiences as teachers and build your classes around you as a teacher. So I hope to help you over the course of two days to figure out what you need in your syllabus, what planning and preparation needs to happen ahead of time. Things that I may not be able to help you, but you need to think about are the availability of classrooms, whether you have help making solutions, whether you have help with grading, and whether all the materials and things that you need for your field trips or for your studio art are available ahead of time. And um, whether students can, for example, dance for three hours, how do you utilize those days and what thinking you need to do? Well, some of it will happen in small groups and will share the ideas you come up with. I am going to facilitate the conversations you need to have amongst yourself as you think about what are the advantages and how to leverage the three hour teaching schedule at a time and um, how to use morning and afternoon to your benefit. So um, what we'll do is for, on the first day, we'll start with working on one day and we'll start with using your learning objectives, learning goals. And you probably already have them for your per week or per day class and you'll convert them to per day of learning objectives for the block plan. And then you'll develop activities of how you use the class time. Of course, nobody can lecture or listen for three hours at a time. So you will develop a plan of how you'll use those three hours. And I'll share examples of what different people are doing here per day in the afternoon and we'll create some resources for you to use. Um, Along with it, we'll talk about what a whole block looks like, what the ebb and flow of the block should be and where where the exam should be, where the intensive work should be, where you need to slow down so the students and you don't get burnt out. One of the key things we forget as faculty members is to create time for grading, to create time for things that show up, the topics you need to research or the materials you have to order last minute or the students who panicked and spend an hour in your office. So all those things need to be planned ahead of time so that once you start teaching, you feel like you're ready to get going. And hopefully at the end of two days, we'll have a handle on teaching on the block plan. And I'm here to help during the workshop and after the workshop. And many of my colleagues at Colorado College are willing to talk to their cohorts and help figure out the teaching on the block plan. I hope I'll be of some assistance to you as we do this over the course of next two days, and I'm looking forward to meeting you.